Early blockchains, like Bitcoin, enable transactions to occur on a fully decentralized network. Newer blockchains, like Ethereum or Algorand, add the support of smart contracts, which adds programmability to the network. To process these programmatic transactions, the nodes in the network need a way to run the associated programs. To do so, they include what is commonly called a virtual machine. For blockchains, virtual machines just refer to the portion of the software that performs the execution of smart contracts. On Ethereum, execution environment is called the Ethereum virtual machine. On Algorand, this execution environment is called the Algorand virtual machine. Both the EVM and the AVM were written specifically for smart contracts, but they have a lot of fundamental differences and are not compatible. One of the biggest differences between the EVM and the AVM is the languages used to write smart contracts. EVM smart contracts are commonly written in Solidity. Solidity is a statically typed high-level language whose syntax resembles JavaScript. On Algorand, the core language for smart contracts is Teal, which is an assembly-like language for the AVM. There are also a lot of options when it comes to high-level languages on Algorand. The primary tool for smart contract development on Algorand is PyTeal, a Python library for generating Teal. It's also recommended to use Beaker, a Python framework for easily creating applications alongside PyTeal. AVM and EVM smart contracts have different ways of storing and accessing data. Solidity supports variables in the contract that can have one of three scopes, public, private, and internal. AVM smart contracts, however, have three available types of storage, global, local, and box. Global and local storage are 128 byte key value pairs that are limited to 64 per contract for global storage or 16 per opt-in account for local storage. Box storage offers an unlimited number of name storage segments in a contract up to 32 kilobytes each. Global and local storage can be read by anyone on chain, but box storage can only be accessed by the app it belongs to. Both languages offer a variety of types, such as tuples, addresses, and booleans, through an application binary interface, or ABI. On Algorand, the ABI is a standard that defines how these types are encoded and decoded, while also defining how functions of a smart contract can be communicated between developers. A key technical difference between the AVM and the EVM is the constraints placed on the execution of smart contracts. The primary constraint for the EVM is gas. Gas is a measure of how computationally complex a transaction is. The more complex the smart contract is, the more gas it will cost. This means users and developers are disincentivizing for creating or interacting with overly complex smart contracts. There is also a gas limit for every contract that sets the max amount of gas one transaction can consume. On Algorand, every smart contract creation or call is simply 0.001 algo, assuming there is no network congestion. There is a similar concept of gas on Algorand called the opcode budget, but this value is not associated with fees and is simply a measure of computational complexity. More complex transactions are not more expensive on Algorand. In addition to the opcode budget, smart contracts are also constrained by how much state they can read or write during execution. For example, if a smart contract wants to read information about an asset, account, or application, the object in question must be predefined before execution. There is a limitation to how much state a single contract can access, which helps the node load the information into memory before execution to maintain quick block time. In summary, both the AVM and EVM are environments written specifically for smart contract execution. The primary differences between the two are the languages used to develop, execution constraints, and how data is stored. Algorand's AVM makes many of the Algorand-specific qualities, such as quick block time, instant finality, and high TPS, possible while still supporting complex smart contracts on layer one.